Two campaigns against HS2 joined forces today for a protest. They walked seven miles along the proposed route on the Derbyshire-Nottinghamshire border, as Jeremy Ball reports. Stop! HS2! Taking a stand against HS2, but can it really be derailed by people power? Today, the Erewash and Trowel protest groups march together to demand a rethink. They say things like, we don't know how big the piling machinery is going to be. And when I say, well, I'm worried about my house, it was built in 1890-something. You know, I'm worried about the foundations. I say, we'll monitor any cracks. Betty's going to lose her home. She's been served with a compulsory purchase order. It's just getting me down now. I'm on antidepressants. And I, I, just, I just want to move out and let them do what they like with it. HS2 say they recognise local concerns. They say they're talking to residents and businesses to minimise the impact. And they say the line could bring tens of thousands of new jobs to the East Midlands. But campaigners aren't convinced. We can't afford HS2. Uh, how does it bring progress when we already have existing railway lines? We've seen all their... It's a fast railway line. It brings jobs, they say. It brings opportunities. We already have a railway line, so any jobs we should already have. Even the speed that it goes, well, that's been debunked because they're going to have 18 minutes to get in and out of, of, of Toton Station. Do you realistically think you can stop it? Why not? We're saying to people out there, of course we can stop HS2. It's not a done deal. Stop HS2! For some, this is standing in the way of progress, but these protesters simply don't agree. It's a campaign against a railway line that's gathering steam. Jeremy Ball, BBC East Midlands Today, in San Diego.